so welcome you all today we will see the sweep operation how it can be done in design modeler so first of all start with your workbench so click on the workbench depending on whatever the version you are using say I am using 2022 release one so how to correctly do the sweep operation that we are going to see in today's session so first of all I am just going to use component system because we are not interested in doing any analysis so just prepare a geometry so in that I select new design modeler option available okay so first phase will be to understand what is X Y and Z so X is red Y is green and Z is your blue then change the units uh, whatever the units you required accordingly you can select so as specified as a centimeter now click on any one of the plane so this plane will be generated for us so when we are doing the sweep operation one thing we have to remember is uh, we are doing the profile and path so these are a very important thing as far as the sweep operations are been concerned especially when you are preparing a coil spring or if you are preparing a pipe with turns so in that situation it is very important to understand what is profile and what is path and at the same time it is very important to uh, prepare it properly so that we can see there will not be any kind of errors when we are uh, preparing the we can say the geometry with turns or we are preparing the spring so what is required is uh, under XY I am just creating one plane uh, first of all a profile say for example I will select over here I will draw as a circle over here so this is one of the circle which I had drawn uh, let's specify say for example dimension over here so I specified 2 centimeter over here now this is your profile so circle which you are drawn it is your profile so it has been generated in sketch 1 now when you draw the path or when you generate the path for this you need to do this with the help of different sketch otherwise it will give you error if you try to prepare profile and path in the same sketch it will give you error and that's why uh, the thing has to be avoided so one more time click on the plane and click on sketch 2 now in sketch 1 we have prepared this circle now what we will do is in sketch 2 I will prepare a path say for example this is a vertical line which I have drawn let's specify some dimensions to this line over here say for example 30 over here so this is a circle which I have drawn this line we have drawn now I, this is a profile which will follow this particular path so for this we will go on to make use of the sweep operations remember sketch 1 it was your circle that is your profile and sketch 2 was your path so this should be in different sketch otherwise it will go on to give the error this is one important thing which you have to remember then go for sweep operation so there are two options one it is profile and second one it is a path so I will select sketch 1 because it was my circle and then sketch 2 I will select over here so that shows me my path uh, there is no such thing like uh, in sketch 1 you can prepare path and in sketch 2 also you can prepare profile so properly you have to select which one is profile and which one is path and accordingly it will to proceed now say if I want to prepare a geometry with some turns so in that case I need to specify the turns right now it is showing 30 uh, but we don't we have only 30 centimeter and accordingly having a 30 turns will be very high so we will take somewhere around 5 or 6 over here and make it generate so once this is generated you can see a, a we can say a geometry with some turns has been generated and it is following some particular path now in this case we have prepared a profile of the circle but if somebody feels you can prepare a different profile also say for example instead of this uh, I'm just going back to my sketch over here say for example this is a circle which I have prepared over here uh, instead of that if I want something different say for example I have deleted this one now I will just go on to prepare another different profile now just carefully observe in earlier case I have prepared a geometry which is uh, like a circle now I will try to prepare a geometry somewhat different uh, say for example here a uh, 3 centimeter then this one I will specify say for example 2 
like a duct I am preparing so check out reference say for example this if I take this as a one over here and uh, again so this is uh, what we have prepared as a geometry now this is my sketch one now okay and this is my sketch two now actually I change the profile now accordingly just check out what changes happens to your geometry so earlier it was coming like a circle which was following which was considered to be your profile and that profile is following a particular path in this case we have selected a rectangular portion and accordingly it is following that particular path so in this way a sweep operation can be easily done uh, over here so depending on whatever path you are having and whatever profile you are having in this case we have selected as a rectangle in earlier case we have selected a circle if you want something else uh, you want some for hexagonal or maybe some arbitrary shape so that can also be easily prepared only thing you have to remember is a sketch one it should be either profile or a path and sketch two if you have taken sketch in sketch one you have taken path you can take sketch two as a profile or if you have taken sketch one as a profile you can take sketch two as a path so depends on uh, we can say whatever you are selecting but whenever you do the sweep operation always sel properly select what is profile and what is your path so this is how the sweep operation that can be done in an ANSYS design model